Are you moving to Cleveland and are looking to buy a house and have a budget of up to $350,000? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the best neighborhoods in that price range. Hi guys, it's Patty with Patty Sells CLE. Welcome back to my channel where I make videos about all things Cleveland and Northeast Ohio. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay. Today, we are gonna talk about homes under $350,000 and what neighborhoods are the best neighborhoods to get the most bang for your buck. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Cleveland that are really expensive, like over $500,000. If you go, you know, downtown Cleveland, Ohio City, Tremont, it's gonna be very difficult to get a nice family home uh, under $350,000. That's going to be, it's going to be hard to find like anything for under $350,000. So we're not talking about those areas today. I've done videos on them. If you're interested in that, go look up my Tremont video, my Ohio City video, videos. Um, and that shows you all the areas that are awesome around there. Today, I'm going to spend more of my time talking about family homes uh, and, and where are the safe neighborhoods, what are the best neighborhoods. Um, when I was looking to, I had my third child I was living in West Park, Cleveland, a little tiny 800 square foot bungalow, and I needed more space. I didn't, I didn't know where to go. You know, and at that point in the, was it 2000? I couldn't afford West Park. Uh, a bigger home in West Park was gonna cost me over $220,000, 225. And back then, uh, I was a, a brand new school teacher in Cleveland. My husband had just started his moving company. We just didn't have a lot of money, and I needed a big house. And that's why I ended up in North Olmstead. Um, I was able to get a 2,000 square foot, four bedroom, split level, big backyard, uh, right down the street from the church I wanted to belong to. I knew my kids, I wanted them to go to a Catholic school. It was right there. Um, so that's where I went. You know, had I had more money, would I have gone to Avon, Avon Lake, Westlake? Of course, but I didn't. And you know what? I loved living in that neighborhood. It was a great place to raise my kids. So today I want to talk about some areas under $350,000. And if you have a family, um, you know, they're just starting out, you want a good school system, that's what I'm going to focus on, is the neighborhoods with really good school systems and uh, where you can get the biggest house for your money. So I'm going to switch over to um, my website. So hold on for a second because it's going to take me a second. I did this the last time. I did a video on uh, up to $200,000 and that was my first time doing that, sharing my screen. So we're going to try that again. I got a pretty good response out of that one. So in a second, I'll see you in a second. I'm going to be on my website. Okay, here is my website. Um, like I said in my last video, uh, this is pattysellcle.com. It says up there, it's just you know, it goes to my EXP uh, website, but feel free to use this website. All my contact information is here. You can do an up-to-date search. You can pick what neighborhood, your price range, what type of home you're looking for. So this is a great tool for you. So please util utilize it. So this is all of Cuyahoga County that I pulled up. I pulled up a range of single family homes, um, 200 to $350,000. I'm really just gonna focus on, you can see my cursor, well, I'm gonna go like this. I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna do downtown Cleveland, but I'm also not gonna really focus on the east side today. And as you've known, I've said a million times, I really focus on the west side. Um, if you need help with the east side, of course I can help you, but my um, specialty is the west side. Um, so I gotta have my broken glasses because I lost my cheaters and it's a bummer. And so I have these old janky pair of broken glasses, but. I had LASIK surgery in my 30s and they warned me once you're getting older you're not gonna be able to read anything and they were right so if you're gonna get LASIK surgery just be aware you're gonna be totally dependent on cheaters for the rest of your life okay let's see I want to zoom in so here we go this is Cleveland Metro Park Zoo that is an old Brooklyn area let's see where this house is Sackett um, that looks like a nice house, $289,000. Sackett is in Old Brooklyn, and this is just taking me to it. Um, let's look at, look at that, that's a pretty nice house. Let's take a look, wow. 
picket fence, Holy Name. Holy Name is a Catholic high school um, in Parma. My dad was actually, he was at the original Holy Name on Broadway, and my parents actually got married at Holy Name. It was a grade school and um, a high school. Wow, these are not great pictures. Okay, but it's a really nice house. So two eighty nine. dollars let's see what we got. Um, it's built in 97, it's four bedrooms, three full baths, one half, 3,200 square feet. That's insane. So Old Brooklyn um, is a pretty nice area. Um, my grandmother uh, lived in Old Brooklyn and they've really, they got this really nice um, community development center and they were doing a lot of great things. They have farmer's markets in the summer. They put uh, movies in the park. Um, so it's a Cleveland neighborhood. And if you're, you know, you, you're probably not gonna wanna send your kids to Cleveland public schools. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but the nice thing about living in Cleveland is they offer a voucher and you can use that voucher for any private school. Um, so that's a huge option. Um, my daughter actually graduated from St. Joseph Academy, which is a Catholic girls high school on the west side of Cleveland because um, her father lives in Cleveland and was able to get her a voucher. It didn't cover all of it, but it covered a big chunk. And for um, grade school, K to eight, uh, the Catholic schools are about, I don't know, four to $5,000 um per kid now when i sent my kids to st brendan's i got a discount for each additional kid at one point i had four kids at st brendan's and i think i paid i don't know six thousand dollars for all four of them so a voucher would be a huge um um help in cleveland so a lot of people and it is drawing people to this city so this part in old brooklyn what i like about old brooklyn i mean look at this 3200 square feet for 289.9 um, and this looks like a really nice house and it's only built in 1997. So a new home. So that's an option. All right. I gotta put my glasses on. Let's keep looking. Uh, okay. Sorry. I gotta, um, another area I really recommend is Cam's Corners. Uh, and this is, I did a video on Cam's Corners. This is the neighborhood I grew up in. Um, and I want to show you this house on Munn Road. I actually just sold a couple weeks ago um, a house just a couple doors down on this same street. Munn Road is a great street. If you're looking to be close to a highway, this is two streets from I-90, which is that main highway um, north of, you know, on north that lines the uh, lake. You're, you're downtown in less than 10 minutes. You're at Crocker Park in less than 10 minutes. You know, if you want to get to 71, it's right down the road, down 150th. You are two minutes, not even. Right down the road is the entrance to the Metro Parks. And I need to do another video on the Metro Parks because people don't realize. I just had a couple come in town. Uh, we were looking at houses and, you know, we were talking about I don't know, I mentioned the Metro Parks, like they had no idea. So we were driving from one neighborhood to another and I said, why don't follow me and I'm gonna take you through the Metro Parks. They had no idea. So our Metro Parks are amazing. Uh, Mun Road is also close to Camp's Corners, which is a, a, you got shopping, you got bars, restaurants, you're close to Westgate Mall. This is, I love West Park. If I could move back, I would. So this house is super cute, $249,000. Right? Look at this. I don't know why it says golf course. But Mun Road is a, I've always loved Mun Road. It's kind of a, it's not, not really a busy street. It's a main, it's, it's like a cut through. But it's still a quiet street. Um, right across the street, yeah, is, it's called Mun Park. And it's just this huge field. And um, when I was a kid, we had soccer practice there. You know, it's just, it's nice. It's by Warren Village where you have your Giant Eagle grocery shopping. You have um, other little shops and restaurants. It's just in a great neighborhood. Uh, so we got three bedrooms, two baths, almost 2,000 square feet. Taxes, $4,500. That's pretty reasonable. So this is a great home in Cam's Corners. I don't know why it says golf course. 
The agent must have put that in there. Yes, there's a golf course right in the Metro Park, so maybe that's why. I have no idea. All right, back to the map. So there's a Cleveland offering for you. Okay, here we go. Now we're going into Lakewood. And I've done Lakewood videos. Um, my kids live in Lakewood. This is a coming soon. This thing is going to sell um, very, very quickly. Lakewood is super, super hot, hot, hot. And these coming soons are going to be ending. We're not going to be allowed to use coming soons. And frankly, I'm happy because it just makes this competition. I bet you there's already, if it's coming soon, next Friday. And I bet you if I went on to book a showing, they're already booked. They'll probably be the whole, you can't even get in to see this house. But, especially at this price point. But things are starting to calm down in the market. I am seeing that. So this is what you're going to get in Lakewood. This is a typical Lakewood home. This looks just like my mom's home. Oh, and they only, because it's coming soon, they can't show any interior pictures. But that's Lakewood for you. So there are some options in Lakewood. Just know you're going to have a lot of competition in Lakewood. Lakewood schools, they're doing a lot better. Um, my cousin's they live in Lakewood and they are sending their kids to the Lakewood schools. They're very, very happy with them. Um, personally, would I? I probably would. I don't know. I, I still, I lived in Lakewood in high school and back then high school, the schools were excellent and they went through a period um, of time where they really went down, downhill. So maybe I need to do some more research, but I know they've built a lot of new buildings. Um, there's a lot of new uh, families coming in, so I think the schools are doing a lot, lot better. So that's a Lakewood one for you. So let's keep moving and see what else we can find here. Uh, okay, Rocky River. Here's the thing about Rocky River. You're not going to get a big house in Rocky River. <laughs> this house is only two bedrooms. Oh, but they've reduced their price, which is nice. But with a family, a two bedroom's probably not going to cut it. Rocky River is known for having very expensive homes. Um, two beds, two full baths, which is nice, 1,500 square feet. Um, it's been redone. Uh, with it being on the market, how much was this one? Does it say 229? That's kind of high for a 1500 square foot house. For me, it wasn't going to cut it. So just know that, you know, Rocky River has one of the top highest rated schools um, in Ohio and especially in Cuyahoga County. So it's very, very desirable. But if you want a two, 3000 square foot home, you're going to be paying big bucks. So, you know, would I live in Rocky River? Heck yeah, Rocky River's awesome, but once the kids move out, this was not an option for me. Okay, moving on. Where are we at here? Parkview. We don't even know where that's at. It doesn't even show it. Where is it? Photo coming soon, so we don't even know. Rocky River. Okay, 260, three bedrooms, one bath, 2,000 square feet. 260. Okay, well, maybe this would work. That might work. Let's see. Let's move on a little bit more west. West 210. Okay, now we're moving into Fairview Park. Here, you can get a lot for your money in Fairview Park, sort of. Here's what Fairview Park schools are like. They're small, it's a small, small district. Um, so if you like that closeness, I don't know, my best friend Mary, she's like, she wants to sell her house. She's like, do you know anybody who wants to buy in Fairview Park, who wants a $500,000 in Fairview Park and wants to send their kids to St. Angelo Marici, which is the Catholic school at the top of the street, and St. Ignatius, because that's where her boys went. Because personally, she did not like the cat public schools, but my other friend, Amy, who was my Cleveland school teacher friend and my neighbor in my first house in West Park, she sent all of her kids to Fairview. She went to Fairview and just can't say enough about Fairview school. So it's all personal preference. Um, 
I would not have any problems with my kids to Fairview. Fairview's, um, let's see. Let's see what the taxes are. Taxes are kind of high, okay? That's the one thing about Fairview. It's a 2,000 square foot house and the taxes are 5,400 bucks. But Fairview, uh, there's a lot of really nice neighborhoods. Like this, look at this. So 249, you gotta, re this needs a gut. I mean, that kitchen, this is a dated home for 250 So that's another thing about Fairview. It's become kind of like Rocky River where things are, um, yeah, they're, you can get a big home, but you're going to have to put some work into it. But Fairview is a very, very nice community. Okay, let's keep looking. Uh, what do we got here? This is another one. Three beds, two baths, 2,000 square feet for 200. Let's see, why is it only 200? Okay, nothing special, right? Ooh, I kind of dig that. Three bedrooms, two full baths. Taxes aren't bad, less than 4,000. So Cape Cod for 200,000, not bad. Okay, let's keep on moving. Did I do this one? Baldwin Lane. That looks kind of like it's a... This is Rocky River. This is a townhouse, so we're not even going to look at that because we want a single family. How about here? Columbia Road. Okay, Columbia Road is a main road. It's an exit off of, off of 90. Um, Westlake. Westlake is a very sought after suburb on the west side. They have excellent schools. They have excellent amenities. Um, I just sold a house in Westlake and uh, I think they're, one of their main reasons was the schools, the rec center, um, its location to Crocker Park, its location to I-90 and 480. So Westlake yeah, I lived where I lived was on the border of Westlake. I wish I could have lived in Westlake. Just wasn't in the cards. So let's take a look at this. And we have, it's only a three bedroom, three full bath. Oh, it's only 1600 square feet. So it's not big, but you're in Westlake. And you know, if you can make this work and the school systems are what's most important for you, I would say this is a go. There's a price reduction, so I'm, I'm kind of curious why. Although I really feel like this market is starting to settle down and people aren't willing to overpay for homes and agents have been really overpricing homes and it's kind of starting to settle down, which is good if you're looking to buy. So not a bad house, not a bad house at all. Looks like it's empty because I saw it was winterized, so. There might be something wrong with it. We'd have to look into it. Okay, so that's Westlake. Forest Park with five beds. How do you fit five beds in 1,800 and 1,900 square feet? This will be interesting. 295, this is also in Westlake. Fully updated. Oh, this isn't bad. Hmm. I know what this is. These are small rooms. And I think it's a ranch. It is. It's a brick ranch. This is a cute little area. I have friends that live in here. Yeah. So 295. It's a small home, but five bedrooms. Yeah. Taxes. Look how cheap the taxes are. Westlake has very low taxes. $3,400. Almost 2,000 square feet, 1890. You know, the house I had in North Olmstead was this exact same square footage. So, yeah, there you go. Westlake is definitely an option. I love it. I love it. And we're even looking under 300. I don't think we've really looked at anything over 300. Uh, let's see what we have here. Dover Center. Okay, now we're moving into North Olmstead. Oh, this might still be Westlake because Dover Center. Yep. 
Dover Center's Westlake and North Olmstead. So here's another Westlake home. 269.9. This is cute. Three bedroom, two bath. So for a family of four, this could work. Oh wow, this is really cute. 1,700 square feet. So not huge for 269, but taxes are cheap. Oh my gosh, and it's on an acre. Wow, this is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we've looked at Lakewood, we've looked at Cam's Corners, Old Brooklyn, Rocky River, Fairview Park, Westlake. Uh, now let's get down into North Olmstead. 270, this is what you're gonna find in North Olmstead. A lot of these 70s funky, in fact, this looks just like my brother's house. When you see a house like this, you know you're in North Olmstead. I had a split. I had a split level. Mine was more looked like a colonial, but you get these vaulted ceilings, which makes it look so huge. Um, and a lot of these North Olmstead homes, like look at those floors, they're pretty. They've been all remodeled. We oh, that's kind of cool. Look, they got a fireplace there. Um, we gutted our entire house. If there was a piece of wood, it was gone. Baseboards, doors, the entire kitchen. Um, we redid the basement. So it was a beautiful modern home in this 70s um, split level. I don't know, this is a little busy for me. I don't know if I would put a fireplace there. Interesting. 270. 1974, right? Uh, taxes are a little high in North Olmstead. Three bedrooms, one full, one half, 2,000 square feet. It's probably, I don't know, I'd say that's probably a little high. You know, and this is it. You get a couple steps down to your family room, but very cozy. Uh, North Olmstead schools have improved. They have a brand new, beautiful middle school and high school. Um, you're real close to the metro parks. You, if you're by Columbia, it's a little bit of a ways to get down to 90 because it's more of a southern um, suburb, but you're right by 480. So here you see, here's 480 right here, and then up here is 90. Um, but it's really easy to also get to the turnpike. And when I lived in North Olmstead and taught way out in Vermilion, I would take 480 and then hop on the turnpike. So 229. Uh, let's see. This is a coming soon for 229, so there's not going to be any pictures. It's a ranch, 1956, three bedrooms, two full baths, on almost a half an acre. So 229. We're looking good. Okay, let's move out here. Ooh, Bassett Road. Hey, we're back in Westlake. See, look at all these Westlakes. And this is a price reduction. Oh, isn't that cute? Four bedroom, two full bath colonial. Wow. I didn't think we would see much in Westlake. But you know, now that I think about it, Westlake has a lot of older um, developments with smaller. Westlake's a nice, large community. So there are a lot of areas that have some older homes because obviously these, and there's, I just sold a $1.2 million home, new construction. So you have a nice range. Um, but again, Westlake schools, brand new high school. Well, I guess it's not brand new anymore, but newer, you know, great sport programs, the rec center. I really like Westlake. I'm, I am actually kind of shocked that there's so much and these are nice homes. So much to offer in Westlake at that price point. So that's kind of exciting for me. Okay, uh, let's go down here, Barton Road. This is going to be in North Olmstead again, 2099 Fullbrook Ranch. Let's see what we got here. Three beds, one full bath, one half bath. So, see the taxes, 4,800. Let's see what the taxes were here. Oh, 5,000. It's weird how the taxes are all over the place. So here we go for 200. Oh, 
well that's maybe that's why this was 319 and the taxes are 5000 this is 200 so $120,000 less and the taxes are virtually the same so like i said taxes are a bit higher you know, and I, my recommendation, if you can get in Westlake, I would definitely pick Westlake over North Olmstead um, all day long. So I think I've talked long enough. We didn't really go south. I might do that in another video. Um, if you want to see any of these homes, you know, all my contact info is down below. You know, in every video I say, call me anytime. I usually answer my phone. I do have a new phone number. So try and use that 844 number. It's 844-CELL-C-L-E, S-E-L-L-C-L-E. Um, yeah, I'm here to help. Hope this was helpful for you. And make sure to come back next time. Bye.